All right, you are still watching Waze. National Noodles Day is celebrated on October 6th annually. The day unites us to indulge in our favorite fast food without any guilt. Noodles can be made from a variety of grains, including rice, wheat, barley, and buckwheat. It is easy to cook. However, the technique and ingredients for making noodles vary in different countries. In a nutshell, National Noodles Day reminds us to allow loved ones to take a respite from their daily lives and enjoy eating noodles. Who is a noodle lover here? I am, I and am. I discovered a system that just blew my mind. One time, some time ago, about three years ago, a niece of mine in Ireland, or in London, sorry, she moved from Ireland to London, came up with this thing where you have little bacon bites, tiny pieces of chopped bacon, smoked bacon, and atarodu. She dices it and puts extra liquid in the noodles and cooks it the way the Chinese would have it with a lot of uh, liquid. Um, liquid. Yeah. It's the best pepper soup wow. version of noodles I've ever tasted. You could use bush meat, anything that is smoked. Smoked, would work. smoked chicken as well mm, would work. Mm, smoked chicken, anything mm. smoked, and diced pepper, and just that. So yes. So no that, onions, no nothing? Nothing else. Nothing wow. else, just cooked, and not even overcooked. Mm. Just cooked with that. Beautiful. Mm. I'm recommending How are it to you. Well, I don't explore a lot when it comes to noodles. So you see these Chinese having, I don't know how they do it, but mm. I'm actually a fan of noodles because it's just a lifesaver. When you're tired and exhausted, yes. it's just easy to just Quick. do something very fast mm. and that's it. So. Mm -hmm. And then the ones they cook on the streets with egg and fish and everything, you're talking about because people come from our brother and eat our street foods. We will go to India, we will eat street foods. We will go to Ghana, we will eat street foods. But you can't stop the pepper soup we buy in this Konanko. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say, for me, I think um, noodles, I love it anyway. Mm. Right? Um, be it stir fry, because mm. I love stir fried noodles. Yeah. Be it um, the, the one with in, the, the excess um, water in it, so yes. you can then take it, really? you know. Yeah, I like it anyhow. <gasps> I eat it anyhow, honestly. It depends on your mood. It depends on how, how you say no. It depends on my mood, you know. But but I, because uh, noodles are not helpful to my waistline. Okay. So my first cannot be like Gloria. Uh, if, I, if I hit what Gloria is hitting, <laughs> I'll be 50 times this size. It is happening. You know, I, I, like I keep Gloria. saying to people that I, when you see, I hardly eat. Oh. So, and I'm very particular about what I eat. Because if I really want to, anything, um, what's it called, carbs and all of that, is immediate. I'll just be adding weight, right? So I know what gives me the extra calories and the mm -hmm. extra whatever, tires and the waist area. You know, it's a beautiful <laughs> shape, so that's why you're going on and on. Unlike you, I make a conscious effort to gain weight. Hmm. I eat at night, so the weight is retained. And I eat swallow at night, so the weight oh. is retained. All my life, I never gained weight. I only started gaining weight in 2016. and mastered the art of, let me adjust my afro. <laughs> mastered the art <laughs> of regaining, of maintaining the weight. Cause for the longest time through two, two pregnancies with my short height, I was a size eight, never even a size 10 in pregnancy, right? A week after I had my daughter, I was able to snap a pair of trousers I'd had since I was in uni. I didn't like it. So you gain weight easily. I make it a conscious effort. She can't gain weight at all. The Lord be with us all. Well, Amen. So just happy <laughs> noodles, whatever you're doing. If you're like me, do not eat it tonight. Wait till tomorrow. Uh, eat. <laughs> all right, so what did we find in the news? Glory, let me come with to you first. Hmm. Okay, for me, um, it's about the governor, CBN's governor. It says... Godwin Emefili, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, stated that the rapid growth of the development of fintech firms has continued to change the financial industry in Nigeria. He said the growth has continued to disrupt traditional ways of banking and offering financial services in the sector. Emefili said, said the development is disturbing. And stated, that the need, and stated the need for the CBN and other regulatory agencies to put solid regulatory checks in place to help mitigate the tragic incident that may occur as the country allows the growth of fintech. Hmm. So what I'm going to say about this is, what's, what do they want? All right, Banks are literally frustrating some of us. 
and we now have this, will I say for now, saving grace of fintechs. Some of them are misbehaving anyways, mm -hmm. but we have the legit ones that are really doing the work. So what is a, comp and I actually also have an issue with the word traditional system. If traditional system is no longer serving us, mm -hmm. and we have this new generation fintech coming up um, with good services serving the country, so what is the problem? What They should just put this regulatory check. You know, I just think like, the traditional banks did not see fintech coming. They didn't mm -hmm. see So I was at the conference today, and we were talking, and somebody actually mentioned this CBN thing, and I think they are even saying that they will soon get to a stage where they will begin to offer fintechs um, what is it called? Licenses, right? Okay. To become mm -hmm. commercial banks. But I think hey, that's just what they're, they're driving at. The, the traditional banks did not see fintech coming. And guess what? You know those days of they came and they disrupted every protocol because before you would grow into managing director, oh. grow into whatever, it would have just been, you know, years of what. A fintech would just come today, you get it right, and that's the next it. thing you are all all over the place and you're doing exceptionally well. So I'm saying to the to CBN governor, instead of saying that they are coming to disrupt the traditional disrupt, things, yes. why don't you tell your traditional banks to begin to look into to what fintechs up. are doing and step up? Step okay, up. Because just it tells it, yes. you that they came and there was a need. Yes. That's why they are growing yes. this rapidly. Yes. 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 Okay. For someone like me, explain it to me as, like they said in the movie Philadelphia, like I'm a five-year-old. What is fintech in a very simple way? Fintech is just um, companies that uh, render services such as loans, financial services, financial services like all the um, banks, in a di and they're very digital. Mm, so okay. they use digital instruments um, a lot instead. instead no. Yes, instead of you know, all the paper. papers going to the bank, all the paperwork and all of that. They all bypass all of those. The man whose message was sent to us as if it were his next of kin was sent to me, that I sent to you. Was that the fintech that financed him? And so, so the thing is, those are lending companies. They're those ones, they have problems. They, they do. Uh, they have problems. Because sharks. guess what? They just, you know, you know how irritating that thing is? And, and I think I will need to bring somebody to discuss to it. To discuss it. Um, yes. I have someone in mind. Mm. Because you, when you were loaning this money. money, I was not informed. Like the way oh, the traditional bank. Yes. Call it's people so like annoying. Annoying. Mm. That's not it's really <laughs> that's not the, that's not the fact that I just need to aside these other ones. Mm -hmm. So they are the legit ones. So they break all these protocols of documentation, all these excessive They just leverage on they technology just leverage to give you financial yes, services. Yes. Right? Okay. So those loaning companies, mm -hmm. they are so I don't know how to put it, they need to go back and redo their strategies. Yes. Because you see, at least with the banks. Where you are guaranteeing someone, you are signing the document. Mm -hmm. was not the, you are aware, yes, now, it was not the way you were agreed and summarized and gave out a loan. All of a sudden, you're calling me. Mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. and somebody is this, that, that, that. Another very um, good um, good thing I'll say about the things about the charges to the bank charges. Yes. So some of them have reduced zero, zero charges. Uh -huh. And I think that's uh, one of the major things most commercial that's banks That's what is eating the yeah. commercial yeah. banks yeah. because yeah. that's where they are making their money. All right, so um, lady, your story. It. Yes. Okay. So they said um, this is a disturbing video that they saw online where a lady arrested for beating her maid to death and dropping her body inside a bush in Nyamara. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, Nyamara State Command, has arrested a yet to be identified woman over the brutal murder of her maid. It was gathered that the suspect was nabbed this week after she beat her maid to death, then dumped the body in a nearby bush. Details of the incident are still sketchy, but a video shared online shows the moment the suspect took nap tip officials to the bush when the already decomposing corpse was recovered. I beat her and she started convulsing, so we took her to King's Hospital. Getting there, she died, so I threw my body here, she wow. said in the video. Yeah. Why is she unidentified is what I don't know. Because you would identify the victim, and then you would leave the perpetrator to still enjoy anonymity, whereby they can be protected. Hmm. You know what, let's quickly, um, let me quickly take my story, then we'll go on a break. Mm. Um, my story is actually interesting. You it's, our, that too, huh? yeah, it's our presidential candidate. <laughs> Because all of a sudden there was a bicycle riding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was a bicycle riding. Everybody, in fact, You've turned it to a challenge thing, now. Funny thing, I actually had a a video when I was working out with on my spinner, my my spin with bike. Stripes. But no, see if I post it now, somebody will think I'm targeting that. So I just did not bother to post it. But so at first there was a um, spinning bicycle. Now there are just really um, efforts of 
trying to prove, you know, um, that he's healthy and all of that. So his son, Shei Tinubu, had been putting a lot of pictures mm. online with him and his grandchildren and all of that. So mm. this is actually coming from Showere. Mm. He tackles Tinubu. He says, stop using photo ops. Um, mm. Using photo ops won't work. That's what he was saying. Mm. Um, so um, he's the, the presidential candidate for action. Um, Congress, the African Action Congress. Um, he had said that he was the all, pro all progressive Congress candidate, Bola um, that he should stop all of this rhetorics, you know, over his absence from the public scene uh, since the official kickoff of the electioneering uh, for the 2023 election. He said that Nigerians won't be swayed by photo ops anymore and that Nigerians know better after the president, Major General Mohamed Buhari, allegedly used the same method. Mm -hmm. So he says, um, he was reaching, he was, this was as a reaction to a picture of Tinubu that he had shared on, the, on Twitter. Uh, so, you see, the truth is about the pictures won't work, videos won't work. They, see, for the, the, I'll just call our presidential candidate for the APC, please do us a video. This is not just pictures and everything. Do us a video, say, hi guys, Live. today Day is, Day yes, that, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Today is the 20, whatever, whatever of November or October, and I am here, you know, and all of that, and I'm okay, I'm fine, contrary to public opinion. Because really, if you keep posting these pictures, it will only just bring more speculations that there's something wrong. Am I, am I uh, to believe that uh, Tinubu sits in his house with suits, three-piece suits, reading newspaper? <laughs> you know, let's take a break. When we come back from the break, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us.